Are we in short? Are we all that? All that good stuff. Who knows, hey? Who knows? Never me, that's for sure. <laughs> Never me. Never me. We're back. Your girl is ready. We are hoping, I am hoping, that Walt is going to tell Skylar soon about what's going on because the anxiety of it all, I can't deal with it. I'm bored of it. Honestly, I'm bored of it. I'm a little bit bored of it. I just want him to tell her. I'd rather just let's have this out. Let's find out what she's going to think about it. Let's move on. Mm -hmm. That's like my main concern right now you know that's my main concern thank you so much for being here with me today i really really appreciate all of you my breaking bad baddies my day oneers i love you so much thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you all for keeping on coming back and watching breaking bad with me so we're going to get on with it today not too much of a long intro we're going to try and cut the intros down i'm still trying i'm still really really trying to cut the intros down but you gals are waffler and the thing is you guys get literally what like 5% of what I actually sit here and waffle before <laughs> I actually get on with it. I think we all want them to be shorter, you know? If you want all of my reactions a little bit earlier, you know where to go. Head over to my Patreon, become an angel, get all of that good stuff, early access, polls, chats, behind the scenes, all that good stuff that you expect with Patreon. If you haven't already, please subscribe to your girl's channel, give the video a like, leave a comment while you're watching it, right now, afterwards, whenever. Just go on. Do it for your girl. Oh shit, me mug, man. Me mug. This one right here is one of my favourite mugs. It's a um, Cinderella mug. It's a fairy godmother uh, mug. It's been chipped, which is really, really sad. But will I get rid of it? <laughs> Absolutely not. Is it still able to contain beverage? Yes, it is. So will I be keeping it? <laughs> yes, I shall. Love this mug because on this side it also says, even miracles take a little time. Life mantra. Even miracles take a little time. But yeah, I really, really appreciate all of you so, so very much. Thank you so much for coming back and watching Breaking Bad with me. This is Breaking Bad, season two, episode five. Let's get into it. Who is this? It's not Jesse and Walt, that's for sure. No, it's not. No, it's not Jesse and Walt. Is it like people? Trying to cross a border or something. What's he picked up? Oh, oh it's two codes grill. <laughs> the intros on this are so good. Oh, is he back to his chemo? That's what it's gonna be. Yeah. Mm. Blood and like needles and stuff just makes me like wince a bit. Well, we've come a long way, Walt. All day, just sat there. I'm gonna recommend cautious optimism. End of round one. We'll check back in two months, reassess, and decide our next move, if any. Uh, right around the time the babies do, correct? Of course, yeah, how convenient. <laughs> Why wouldn't it be? Uh, you'll start feeling better soon, more like yourself. And your hair should start to come back. <laughs> kind of gotten used to the old cue ball. Book. Yeah. <laughs> Makes him look badass. <laughs> so, no more confusion? More. No. No. Hmm. I wonder why. So, we're not going through an insurer, is that correct? Yes, direct bill. Oh my god. How long is it? Again, America, fuck yeah. God bless the NHS for all its flaws. I thought we had discussed a cash discount. It's included. Oh my god. Oh my god. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'd keep it. You've literally just paid how much for the services. You might as well take the free badge one. Manifest hope <laughs> as medicine. Well, I'm sorry you couldn't be of more help to. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Biosh. She trying to sort out like the medical bills. Three days stay, thirteen thousand and counting. Wow. 
Wow, I could never imagine seeing that for going to the hospital. I really could never. Oh yeah, literally like this man wouldn't be able to sleep. The fact that he can still stand upright during the day after the amount of stress <laughs> that he's under. I could not even physically cope. Where's he off? Oh, to his stash of runes. Have you got a cheeky 13k in there, Walt? I take it he's short. Oh, I feel so bad for anyone that has to go through chemo. It seems like just horrendous. I've heard it really messes with your immune system as well, just really fucks you up. Mm, no, now he's got a blocked toilet as well. <laughs> uh, just gets better. <gasps> oh, Skylar, you dumb, dumb gal. Why on earth would you put it down the toilet? On what planet? There's a, like, how many bins does this woman come across on a daily basis? Why would you put it down your own toilet? <sighs> Wait, no, he has it. Tuco Salamanca. Dead. Still? Completely. Oh, was that beginning bit another one of those, like, projecting the future bits? Oh, damn, I thought that was, like, a uh, in real time bit. Uh, we keep hearing a name, uh, Heisenberg. Heisenberg. Oh Lately, my God! As if he's like Heisenberg. Actually, found the name out. Oh God. How does Albuquerque liaison Tri-State Border Interdiction Task Force? Oh, it's getting like a promotion. a promotion. Thank you, sir. Aww. What's gonna do without me, Gomi? <laughs> I won't have to look at your ugly mug six days a week. <laughs> hey, buddy, I am the brains. And a brawn. I'm no, Hank. But I am glad for him. Hey, congratulations. Hank. Thanks. Why is it taking so long on this, like, that bit? Why do I feel like something's gonna happen? Oh, is it even like a panic attack? Is it, is it a panic attack? Is it a heart attack? Pinky boy? What? Uh, a panic attack. I wonder if he had them before and he just like goes off and has like little panic attacks on his own every now and again. Oh. Is that the guy from before who he took it from? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> Foxy back. Oh, yeah, he does have a nerve. You're even dumber than I thought. What's the play? Oh my god, he's about to get his face punched in. Oh shit. Balance for the uh, the tow, the repairs, and extra for and damages and stuff. The the gates. He's still gonna want to like punch him or something. He's well gonna still like punch him or something. I just feel tension. It's all right. I got <laughs> storage needs and I got scratch. Up front, we could, you know, negotiate. 500. A month? A week. A week? For real. See ya. Wait, 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 just hold on. 500 a week? Month to month, cash up front, inside. And I don't know you. I don't know Jack. Covering his back. Wow, 500 a week, though. What about that one? What is it? What's it? <laughs> Listen, that looks like a top class banger. Get you from A to B. <laughs> I love it. It's more low key than what he was driving around in before. Let's hope he never gets those uh, personalised plates back ever again. <laughs> Jane, I gotta say, this place is awesome. Really? Does it inspire awe? Oh, I love this girl's like whole aesthetic. All right, the usual drill. I'll need a W two or a recent pay stub, current employer, former address. You know. Hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have any of that stuff. Yes. But he has cash. I can. Unbelievable. 
Like I'm just currently in between situations. Then I'm currently not renting. Mm. I got the money and I'm totally good for it. Come on, yo, can you please, please just help a brother out? Yo, my dad's not really a make exceptions kind of guy, trust me. Mm. Dude, I got nowhere else to go, this is it. I just need a chance. Mm, she gonna sympathize with him. You know what, I'm a good person and mm. I work hard. I will pay you every month and I will pay you on time. I will not mess this up, okay, I swear. Go on. Although he is just a rando off the street. <laughs> Who just told you his parents kicked him out, like, for what? And he has no job and all that good stuff, so, you know. You won't regret this. And, in addition to first and last, <laughs> I want two more months. DBAA fee, non-refundable. She's smart. What's, what's DBAA? <laughs> Don't be an asshole. <laughs> oh, bless. That was nice of her. Schrader, bye. Oh, I hope he's okay with that, like, kind of panic attack looking thing that he had before. Our hanky boy. What are you doing? <laughs> Beating off. Like what are you doing? You call in sick the day after receiving oh. a long awaited career boosting. So, promotion. no, he's not feeling too great. So, you can play Oktoberfest in your man cave. I don't know if you're one to be talking about you know, people's like behaviors, Marie, to be honest with you, love. Judge you, would you? Take a day. Yeah, or oh, maybe no just like deal. ask him if he's okay. Rather than come in Get with the whole sass and gas. Out of here so I can concentrate. Like if you think it's unusual behaviour, maybe ask him if he's alright. His little beards with his face on. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, ow, 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 ow! Did it cut in his hand and stuff? Oh! Better just double check that real quick, because you might have like. Slice something important. Ugh. I wasn't expecting that today. The plan is we cook. So why are we cooking when we can't even move what we cook? Yeah, what I was just saying. <laughs> I suppose you can be ready then. Take it as an opportunity to get ahead of schedule. Well, how much do you think you can sell on your own? Dude. Going back to plan, Jesse's Fire plan to A. Tuco, that was your plan, wasn't it? Mm. You're talking me, solo, busting hump, slinging shard. Mm. A DA's up my ass. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm not exposing myself to that level of risk. Yeah. Either of us are eager to jump into bed with another Tuco. But, like, aren't they all like that? Well, I don't know. But aren't they, like, stereotypically all like that? Like, all major drug dealers? You've got mm. bills? You want to know how much I've got left? After completing my first round of treatment and financing the world's most expensive alibi. Oh my god. Nothing for my family, which, as you might remember, was the whole damn point. Mm. We go into business with yet another homicidal lunatic. <laughs> we got to be Tuco. All right, cut out the middleman, run our own game. All right, I, I can create a network. Can it? We control production and distribution. I mean, I get it. It would be good if they could be the Tuco, but not like as dickheadish. But like, how do you even become that? Do you know what I mean? I don't vote for this plan. Well, you don't get to vote. What's the plan, Jesse? This is a partnership, remember? I remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. Now you cook, I sell. That was the division of labor when we started all this. Hmm find myself locked in a trunk or on my knees with a gun to my head before your greedy old ass came along. <laughs> greedy old ass. And I will admit to a bit of a learning curve. <laughs> Perhaps I was overly ambitious. Because we do things my way this time? Or I oh. walk. I mean, Jesse found Tuco and I suppose like Walt closed that deal, but Jesse was definitely the one to find Tuco. Oh. And it's from my casa. Uh, he was gonna pee. What's up, brother? Who's this? <laughs> Yo, badge, hey. <laughs> God, this guy's back. <laughs> I think, you know, just a bunch of candles. <laughs> you know, one of those little found jobs right here. The ladies, they cream up real <laughs> nice for like candles and shit. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I don't know what you mean. You got any other refreshments? No beer, no weed, all right? You smoke it up on your own time. We're talking business. Okay. I front each of you an ounce. 
You sell it for 2,500, I keep the two, you keep the five. That's kind of like hopeful, bro. <laughs> this is the best shit. Yeah, yeah. All right, everybody and their mother's gonna want to taste. Who else is selling right now, huh? True, true. Cause two, Co's going. Short me, you're out. Cut it, you're out, period. He's not doing such a bad job pitching it. Gentlemen, how far you go is up to you. Oh my god, Jess is actually being smart. So, uh... Terrific. be hearing from me. He's actually not being a jackass about, like, doing drugs in the house when she's, like, said, don't do that shit. Okay. D-B-A-A, -A, mofos. <laughs> D-B-A-A. -A. Let's see how they get on with that. I was talking to Melinda, Hank's boss's wife. I told you about her, the one with the helmet hair. She was saying that when they were there... Oh. She's just like, no. What, are you got something to say? Apologize. Skylar? Oh. What? I will not listen to one more word until you apologize. For the tiara. She's so over everyone's shit at the minute, Skylar. Obviously, I don't clear lies. To me, the shoplifting. Just say sorry. You really think it was all just neatly gonna go away? Yeah, <laughs> she did. <laughs> Apologize. Apologize, Marie. Apologize. Girl, get a life, man. Why are you punishing me? Why are you punishing me? Girl, just apologize. And not get to a apologize to tell me the truth. And Why do people... I don't understand why some people struggle so hard to apologize for things. Because, like... She knows she's wrong. And like generally these people do, don't they? But something within them cannot physically do it. I am sorry. I love you, my sister. Something like that. Really quick, you know? Thank the Lord. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. Smashing. Smashing, like... Congratulations. I mean, I do really mean that, but also, like, couldn't have done that three months ago or some shiz. So, it... Was it... scary? Hell yeah, it was freaking scary, no. little punk. Jesus. Our little Flynn Rider just is loving talking to Hank about his stuff, and God bless Hank's having, like, panic attacks behind the scenes. Hell yeah. Kick ass and take names. <laughs> Kicking ass and take names. Fine. Where did he come from? Criminals like the one you, uh... I mean, what do you think it is that makes them who they are? <laughs> Buddy, you might as well be uh, asking about the roaches. But... A whole bunch of things. Upbringing, society, nurture, nature, genetics. I got pissed like a racehorse. Oh, I would just love to live out there. Look at all, it's so sunny. Looks so warm. <laughs> Pretty sure it's rained five times today already here in the UK. Dum, 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 da, dum, da, dum. Oh, this is them um, selling the drugs. Oh, as if. So is this basically saying it's working? <laughs> I love how this is shot. Let's see how much he's going to make. He definitely gets like two from each. He's picked up at least once off each of them. Oh. 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 Sugar, 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 sugar. Ooh, they're gonna get caught. Damn it, Janet. Oh. Stop. Oh my god. Motherfudge, I can't blame him. I would have absolutely pegged it as well, like, if I was in that situation. I wouldn't have even thought twice about it. Oh, sneaky little biosh. Oh, it was so effective. <laughs> it's like, I want to be impressed because it was so effective, but also like, oh, what a bitch. He's just giving him his dollar. 15K. That's what I'm talking about. You're welcome. Jesus. Nice. Help me understand the math. How long has it been? I gave you one pound, correct? 
You and I split $2,000 per ounce. That's 16 ounces. 16. Yeah. Not 15. One of my guys got held what? up by a couple oh. junkies. Yeah, here's the thing. you got to take the good with the bad if, if he's doing all that legwork, Walt, to be fair. Dude, it's called breakage. Okay? Yeah, like, in the nicest way. It's the cost of business. Yo, you're sweating me over a grand? I'm not the street guy, yo. Well, no, you're not, to be honest with you, Walt. So maybe be a bit more grateful. Because, like, what do you have without Jesse in the nicest way? He can make the stuff, but, like, who's he selling it to? Six grand a day we're making. What's your problem? Yeah, like, in the nicest way. What happens when we're Greed. And it's open season on these clowns you've hired, huh? You think Tuco had breakage? Mm, right, so he's saying, like, you can't just let him get away with it. But at the end of the day, like, he really was, like, held up. You want another grand? Is it's that not like it? he just took it. Not my point. Take it! Here! Yeah. Hey, we're making bank. Shit happens. Yeah, I agree with Jesse on this. 100%. And you're all tucked in at night with your precious family, so why don't you just stop being such a freak about everything? Yeah. What the hell do you want me to do? Well, some like beat him up or something. Like, what the hell? He got literally, like, robbed. It's not like he just stole it. So where's Junior? Out. Oh, can you just please tell her? Because I can't even physically deal with this. This cold shoulder shit for the rest of my life. <laughs> Out. Where? <laughs> Somewhere. Huh? Yeah, I just thought you might have a clue where your son is. Why am I the only hmm. one who needs to keep track of our son? I mean, fair. You want to know where he is? Ask him. Just pick up the phone like I do. Too right, though. Oh, I'm really not a fan of his attitude at the minute because it's like, babe, it's literally all your fault. I understand some of his reasons, some of his motives for what he's doing. Perhaps but you might know something. Don't be an asshole. About this. I mean, yeah, that's not grandular. But also, like, and then again, let's not try and palm it off like. I don't, Walt. Yeah. Perhaps I smoke them in a fugue state. <laughs> I'd like an explanation, oh, please. You, yeah. Really don't want to go Why down would you do this? Road. With the greatest respect, I agree with Walt. Is not gonna do a thing. But it's you can't demand an explanation okay, well, from this woman sure. not when you're not giving one. But yes, I feel ashamed. This is so unlike you. Oh, Why? Really? He's got a nerve. He's got a nerve. No, thank you. Mm. He really has got a nerve demanding explanations. Just tell her at this point. Oh. Oh my god. Hank. Huh? Oh, is it going to be like Walt Jr. or something? Like, gone round or something? Because it sounds like someone's shooting like bottles or something. Oh, it's just them. I told you it sounded like someone shooting bottles. <laughs> Too much pressure. Oh, like him, literally him. Metaphors. Oh, bless little Hank. What's he come around for? You ask me what I want you to do. The end. Absolutely not, obviously. I want you to handle it. I mean, obviously, he's not going to do that one. He's not going to be shooting his mate, is he? He's going a bit too far now, to be honest. I'm not liking whoever the hell he thinks he is at the minute. Oh, um, what is he doing? Oh, is he just going to throw it away? Yeah, oh my God. Thank God I thought we were going to put himself in there then. And that's how it's ended up downstream. Dedicated to our friend Kim Manners. Oh, was that somebody that passed away, maybe? Oh, what a good episode. Oh my God, loved that. Absolutely 
loved it. I loved the storyline with Hank at the minute. Like, I do feel so, so, so bad for him. But, like, it wasn't really a storyline that I was expecting for him. He's always been, like, you know, really big balls. So, weren't really expecting him to be, like, having panic attacks and things like that. Makes sense now, obviously, how the people at the start of the episode got hold of that. Um, I thought we'd get to a bit more about, sort of, Walt telling... Skylar in this episode. I'm hoping it's by the end of season two. So let's have a think now. The baby's due in like a couple of months, I think they said. So he's got no more treatment to do for the time being. He's got two months now where they're going to do nothing and then just check him in two months. That's roughly when the baby is due. It's all going to come to a climax, I think, at the end of this season. Surely. How long are they going to make me wait before he tells Skylar? Does he ever tell her? Because if I've got to sit through five seasons, <laughs> if I get through five seasons and he hasn't told her at all, don't know how I'm going to manage that internally. Don't know how I'm going to manage that. Walt's attitude at the minute, I'm not vibing with at all. Like wh what? Well, you know, he's got cancer and all that good stuff and very limited time to live and he's trying to get all this money for his family, but he really needs to humble and ground himself. Like from time to time, Walt needs to just calm the hell down. Does he really expect Jesse to kill that guy, like, he literally got robbed by, like, two smackheads and we're just about to go and kill him. Like, no, 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 no. I think, you know, if you're in that line of work, then maybe if somebody steals product from you, you might need to, like, I don't know, like, rough them up a bit. Yeah, that's how I'd do it. Rough them up a bit, maybe, in the context of, like, a TV program. In real life, don't condone violence, don't be an asshole. DBAA. Walt's going a bit too far at the minute. Like, I don't know actually who he thinks he is. Like, come on now, Heisenberg. Let's just chill the hell out. Let's remember that you're literally, in no offence, but you're literally like a high school science teacher. Like, I know you got into the drug game now, but maybe let's chill the hell out because you have absolutely no contacts and nobody to sell it to. Let's just rein it in a little bit. But yeah, that's my main takeaway. Walt needs to calm down. Skylar needs to find out the information that she needs to find out because God bless her. I can't, be I can't be dealing with this for like, how long am I going to be dealing with this for? I can't. It's too annoying. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate the heck out of you. Thank you so much for being here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you want full length reactions, early access, polls, behind the scenes stuff, head over to my Patreon, become an angel. I'd appreciate it so much. My Patreons have decided the next few movies for me, so I'm really excited to get into those. I'm going to head off from filming this, do some editing and order some cosplay items for those. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love you so, so much. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whether it's morning, evening, afternoon, four o'clock in the morning, thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you so much. Be kind, look after yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs>